What's going on guys? Welcome to Steve Does Stuff. I'm Steve and today we're going to be doing some more truck camper storage stuff. So if you guys haven't been following along, I am turning my 2016 GMC Canyon into a truck camper. We're going to be doing a three week road trip across Canada for the last three weeks of July. We're leaving Hamilton, Ontario, driving all the way to Tofino, BC and back. So some of the stuff that we've tacked along the way to make this thing a little bit more truck campable are truck cap on the back of the truck. Got some stuff built this platform with full length bed drawers and tons of storage. Nice little side pockets front and back for easy access storage stuff. And since it's only going to be our dog coming with us, we took out the back seats for better storage area, flat surface. We're going to have a cooler, dog bed, and a few other things in here, water jugs, etc. But what we won't be able to have is some of our backcountry gear with us. At the end of our trip, we're going on a five or six day backcountry trip through Northwestern Algonquin Park. We want to be able to bring all of our tents, our backpacking gear, and our coolers. So we're going to be putting some roof racks on this thing today. The racks that I did get, I picked up online, used. I think these are the Thule Aero Bars. I actually ended up picking these up for $150. Some guy shipped them to me. I just sent him my money and figured, you know, he's going to rip me off. He sent me the bars and three different kits to attach to these. So like Nissan Versa, Rogue, and just so happened to be Colorado Canyon. So I'm gonna go ahead and snap these guys on and show you how they go on. So the way these mount is you actually have to pull down the weather stripping. They kind of hook in here. So when you're putting these guys on the back, Pull this down, open up the top, and start cranking them in, and they'll dig in. So this is the Thule that we're going to be putting up on the roof. I'd say it's about four feet by three feet. It is a thick unit with a lot of storage in it. I don't know the model because I'm just basically boring this for the trip. These little clamps go through here, grab onto the bars, you tighten them or loosen them and they will hold on quite nicely. Now the Thule isn't the only thing going up on the roof. Because we're going to be living out of the truck for a little while, I'm going to try and shift this over as far as possible because I want to be able to put our tent up here. So the whole idea behind this tent is some places we're going to be camping are probably going to be pretty buggy. So it's got a door front and back. So we're thinking that we could possibly back the truck up into here, opening the back so we can cook easier. And that way we wouldn't get, you know, attacked by bugs. <laughs> This tent was about 160 bucks from Walmart. It is an 11 by 11 and seems to be pretty good. Hope he likes it. I'm not entirely sure we're gonna need it everywhere we go, but I know here in Ontario, especially like late spring, early summer is brutal. Very, very buggy. So this will come in super handy. I think for attaching this, we're just gonna be basically Putting a bungee cord on there and well, it should be good. This case isn't waterproof, but it's just a tent, like a structure. Like I said, the idea would be back the truck into that. So if it's pouring rain, we got some space, but both of that fit quite nicely on the roof rack. It's definitely a look. I also wanted to point out that these kits come with a rubber gasket that you run right here. I haven't put the gasket on yet because I don't keep the racks on full time. I don't want water leaking down into here. I'm not a huge fan of how these attach, but they were $150 racks, so I'll put up with them for the three weeks that we're gonna use them. I think everything's gonna fit pretty good. I should check how well the top opens. That's gonna do it for this episode of Steve Does Stuff. It's just a quickie, but it's, you know, one more thing handled. 
as we're just over two months away from our road trip. So just kind of getting the last few items buttoned up as we go along. So thanks very much for watching guys. See you next time.